things as purifiers with his blood. In any way that we have go wrong, in any way that our spirit, our soul has been engaged, any covenant that we have made unknowingly, may he wash us and cleanse us, purify us so that our service will be accepted on him this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you, we honor you, we love you, we thank you, God has us again. Father, we ask you for your man love, Jesus, we thank you, we appreciate you, we give all the glory this afternoon. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are still going to pray and we are going to thank the Lord. We are going to appreciate what he has done for us. The life he has given unto us, bringing us into his presence this afternoon is just by his grace. There are so many things that the devil plans against our life. But he has delivered us and he has bring us into his presence. Let's appreciate and thank him this afternoon in the name Father, of Jesus. Father, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. we <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, when two or three meet in His name, He is there with them. We are praying that may He lead us and guide us into all truth as He has already promised us. May He reveal His secrets, His mysteries unto us this afternoon in the name of Jesus. May His will be done in our midst in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? we will worship you, Christ, our God. Jesus, we will We are still going to pray. We are going to immerse our body, our soul, our spirit in the blood of Jesus. We are immersing our phones, our gadgets, our Facebook connection, our Zoom connection, everything we are messing in the blood of Jesus. We are standing upon the floor. 
any device in self against the knowledge of God. Anything that the enemy is putting in place, any form of distraction, any form of misconduct, any form of confusion, any form of mis mis misled, we are praying that may the Lord deliver us from their hands. May their words, may their plans be destroyed. May in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we nullify every activity of the enemy against our gadgets, against our children, our children, our God, our concentration, our God, our blood of Jesus. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against them in the name of Jesus. In the destruction of the Jesus, Father, we bind every activity of the enemy against us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are Amen. We are going to pray and we are going to commit the servant of the Lord into the hands of the Lord that he don't have power of his own. He cannot do anything without being filled with the Holy Spirit. We are praying that may the Holy Spirit fill his servant this afternoon. May he lead him, may he reveal his secret, his message unto him. We want to hear his voice through his servant this afternoon. May he have his way in, in his life in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Amen. To pray, and we are going to intercede for our brethren who will be joining us. Who will be joining us on Facebook? Those who will be joining us on. Zoom. We are praying anywhere they are. Those who have forgotten, we pray that may divine Holy Spirit remind them and bring them. We are praying for those who have been, they have so have been tied. Those who have been put into captivity, bondage. We are praying that may the Holy Spirit set them free, lose them, and bring them. And let us all join hands together, worship Him and serve Him. In the name of we are going to pray our last prayer. We are going to pray and we are going to tell the Lord or we are going to cry unto him. 
that nobody come into contact with him and go back the home. We are here because of him. We are praying that any pass or any package that he has prepared for us, we are ready to receive them. May the power in his, in his word bring comfort those who are not feeling well within our midst. May the power in his word bring healing among them in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray this afternoon. Oh, Jesus, Father, we are before you. Oh, nobody come into contact with you. Oh, Jesus, and go by the same. But let our life be changed. Let our life be changed. Jesus, Father, we pray for those who are not feeling well within our midst. Let the power in your word, Jesus, bring healing. Let the power in your word, Jesus, Father, change our life in the name of Jesus. May the power in your word, Jesus, for the truth, near the word that we are falling short. Oh, Jesus, let the power in your word bring Let the power bring healing for those who are feeling well within our midst. We thank you, we appreciate you. Thank you for the rock for manifesting your power within our midst this afternoon. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We'll continue to exalt the name of our Lord and bless his holy name. And thank you for how far he has brought us. Amen. Amen. He comes with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given us. Jesus Christ, Christ His Son, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given us Jesus Christ, His Son, and I. Let we say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let we say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of, Cause what, of what the Lord has done for us, us we give us. And now, and, and now, now, let, let we say, I am, I am strong. Let, let the poor say, I am, I am rich. Because of what, what the Lord has done for us. us. We give thanks and now, and, and now, now, let, let we say, I am, I am strong. Let, let the poor say, I am, I am rich, because of what, of what the Lord has done for us. us. And, and now, now, let, let we say, I am, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am, I am rich. Because of what the, the Lord has done for us, we give thanks. Your name is above all names, and you are worthy, worthy of our praise. praise. My, My heart will sing a great is our God. Your name is above all names, and you are worthy of praise. Of our praise, my, praise. my heart, heart will sing a great is our God. How great is our God! So sing with me, how great is our God! I always sing a great, how great is our God! Your name is above all names. Your name, you are worthy. My heart will sing a great is our God. God. Your name is above all names, and you, you are worthy of all praise. My heart will sing a great is our God. A great 
It's our God, sing with me, I agree. It's our God, and I always sing, I agree. How great is our God. Your name, your name above all names. And you are worthy of my praise. My heart sing, I agree. It's our God. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Our Father. You are worthy of my praise. To our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. Yes, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. God. Yes, Lord, you are mighty. You, you are, are awesome, awesome in this place. Have a fun now. You are worthy of my praise. To our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, and you are worthy of our, our praise. To our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Yes, you are awesome. You, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. God. You, you are awesome in this place. Have a father, you are worthy of my praise. To our we raise, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are worthy of our praise. To our lives we raise, you are awesome in this place. Mighty God, and you deserve the glory, glory and the honor. Lord, we lead our hearts in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lead our hearts in worship. As we lift your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. Oh, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we let our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. So what?
worship the Lord in His presence we stand. He cares for us and He understands. Come, Holy Spirit, rich in us now. Grace, peace, and joy, love abound. So worship the Lord in His presence we stand. He cares for us and He understands. Come, Holy Spirit, rich in us now. Grace, peace, and joy, love abound. Holy, holy, and God is holy. And holy is the Lord. You are worthy. Worthy. Our God is worthy. Worthy is the Lord. You are so faithful. Faithful. Our God is faithful. Faithful is the Lord. You are righteous. Righteous, my God is righteous. Righteous is the Lamb. You are so holy, holy. You are holy, holy is the Lamb. So we worship and worship the Lord in His presence. We stand. He cares for us. And he understands. Come, Holy Spirit, rich in us now. Grace, peace, and joy, love above. You are holy. Holy. You are holy. Holy. And holy is the Lamb. You are worthy. Worthy. And God is worthy. We worship you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, that's you. You never change. A shadow of days, a sword as you are, a sword as you are, you will never change. A shadow of days, a sword as you are, a sword as you are, and you will never change. A shadow of days, a sword as you are. Oh, as you are, so that's you. There is none. You will never, never, never change. Patience of days. Oh, I saw. So that's you. Oh, as you are, so that's you are. Now you will never change. You will never share your glory with anyone else. Almighty God. That is your you name. Will you will never, never share your glory with anyone. Oh, la, ma, 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 tiga. That is your name. You will never, you will never share your glory with anyone else. Oh, ma, tiga. That is your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone else. Lord, you will never share your glory with anyone else. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone else. Lord, you will never share your glory with anyone else. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone else. Your name. You will never, you will never, never share your glory, 
glory with Your glory will you share with no one. Almighty God. Mighty God, that is your. You will never. You will never share. Forever your glory will you know divide it with anyone. You will be the love upon the throne. Forever we will bow before you your throne. You will share your glory with no Muhammad. You will share your glory now with Hare Krishna. He will share your glory with no Scientology. He will share your glory with no one. No, 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 no prophet can share your glory. You are the same. You never share your glory with the flesh. With the human body. With the spirit. Your glory will remain the same. Share your glory. We will not share your glory with you, Lord. Unless you decide to give us part. That is your nation. Talk to the Lord, worship him. Give him all the glory and honor and adoration that he, Lord, is there. Give him glory and honor and adoration that he, Lord, is there. Let's love him, let's love him, let's love him. Oh, Lord, oh, praise is to your name. Oh, Lord, because your name is great and great and so be praised. We sing worship, we sing worship to your name. Far above all, worship to your name. Oh Lord, because, because your name is great, is great and great to, to be praised. Let's worship you, Father. We love you and we glorify your holy name. Bless you, Lord, at another time in our We exalt your holy name above every other name. Shinde di andara basu kabala bala bala bashala. We give you worship. We give you worship. We give you worship. We give you praise and adoration and honor. Right take all the glory and take all the honor. Exalted in our midst, now and forever. You deserve very big thank you. You deserve very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. Very big thank you. Thank you, thank you my lord. In Jesus' name, we have worships. Amen. Let it just say, Amen. 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 Glory be to the name of the Lord God Almighty who has brought us. Today is Sunday, and as this is Sunday, we celebrate the day of the Lord. The day that the Lord gave us a new life. Sunday is a new beginning. It's the first day of the week, and it's the day of a new beginning. It's a day of summer for us. So every Sunday we come before him and we partake his bread and we share his glory. Many have died and gone and they never had this opportunity that you and me we have. So if you have seen you this afternoon, you're welcome into where God is. Where God is speaking to his children, showing them the way to please him and giving them all the secrets about life after death. What do you want more? So if you are seen in your welcome to End Time Holiness Fellowship. End Time Holiness Fellowship. Before I begin, I want to give opportunity to very few foreigners among us who want to sing foreign language. Anyone who want to sing foreign language. So we want to start with uh, Sister Blessing. She wants to sing foreign language. And then I think I will come to Mimi. Maybe Mimi wants to sing foreign language. 
Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. Yeah. I will sing in French. That is as, a, as usual. That's a foreign language. Reçois de moi le parfum de ta dire. La beauté de ton nom et mon âme est perdue. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, je t'aime. Reçois du peu que je trouve à donner. Tout l'amour que mes yeux n'ont pas été à montrer. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, je t'aime. Rien n'est plus beau que ton nom. Rien n'est plus sain que le sang du pardon. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, mon roi. Je ne veux rien que vouloir te louer, adorer ton Seigneur et ta fidélité. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, je t'aime. Je vais porter et laver à ta croix les pensées de mon cœur dans le cœur de ta voix. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, je t'aime. Rien n'est plus beau que ton nom. Rien n'est plus sain que le sang du pardon. Je veux naître qu'à toi. Jésus, mon roi. Reçois l'adoration. Tu es le roi de gloire. Notre victoire. Digne tu Seigneur. Emmanuel. Reçois l'adoration, tu es le roi, tu es le roi, le roi des gloires, notre victoire, digne tu Seigneur, Emmanuel, Dieu de lumière, élevé dans le ciel. Rempli de grâce et de paix, environné de louanges de feu, gardien de l'éternité. Pourquoi quitter ce palais de bonheur pour un sentier de misère? Par quel amour le chemin de ton cœur On suit trouver nos prières Reçois l'adoration Tu es le roi de gloire Notre victoire Digne tu Seigneur Emmanuel Notre victoire, digne du Seigneur, Emmanuel. Mais c'est pour que ton cœur a montré, je veux briser mon secours. Sur le chemin que ta vie a tracé, j'ai ma chair chaque jour. Garde mes yeux des attraits de ces mondes. Garde-moi près de la croix. En ce lieu saint où mon âme est fondée, 
féminité et de joie, reçois l'adoration. Tu es le roi des gloires, notre victoire. Emmanuel, 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 the Lord is with us. The Lord is Mimi there. Mimi. Yes. Do you want to sing for us? Yes. Go ahead, Alan. Now it's harvest time. Give thanks to the Lord. Now he knows we must be fed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you God for everything, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you God for everything. Amen. 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 That was short. Amen. That was God short. We give you glory. Mommy, do you want to add up with any foreign language? I love foreign language. When people sing any foreign songs, I love it. Especially, do you know how to sing any Swahili song? I love Swahili songs. But Pastor, those languages you don't understand. Those what Mama blessing song you don't understand. It's how do we get it? It's not about you, my dear. It's all about God. <laughs> don't be silly. Okay, uh, sister, sister Jenny. I was trying to write a sister Jenny, please. I was trying to write you a, a private message. If you can send me your WhatsApp, I will translate it and send it to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jenny, do you want to sing in Italy? I prefer that one also. What about you? No, I don't like tree. <laughs> Jenny, do you want to sing in Italy or Spanish? Any foreign language? Sister Esther, can you sing in Spanish? Not at all. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sister Norma, what about you? I can't sing Spanish, sir. No, no, not Spanish. Your language or <laughs> South African uh, Swahili. <laughs> Jesus, what not all is ever Jesus? Jesus, what not all is ever Cosi? How's what not all is ever? How's what not all is ever? How's what not all is ever Jesus? Cosi and his monagali seven costi, monagali se, mona Jesus monagali se, Jesus monagali se Jesus, monagali se Jesus monagali se costi ya, costi and his monagali seven costi. Amen. 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 Come, please, turn your Bible with me to Second Corinthians, chapter number seven, and let us do what we know. Or chapter six, sorry. Second Corinthians, chapter number six. Let's do what we love to do. Father, here we are one more time. Your children have gathered together. They are hungry for you. They are thirsty for you. They want to be where you are. 
They want to hear what you have for them. Somebody need encouragement. Somebody must be motivated. Somebody must be rebuked. Somebody must be chastised. Speak to us, O oh God. We are here. Show us the way into your goodness. Show us the way that goodness and mercy can follow us all the days of your life. We recite so many things, but we don't understand. We say so many things that we don't understand. Reveal your mind to us and show us your glory. Let the dew of heaven bring us a refreshment by the entrance of your word. There is much illumination. Illuminate our hearts and draw us closer into deep relationship with you. That at the end, we shall praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? And what concern had Christ, what concord had Christ with Belial? Or what parts had he that believe with infidel? What agreement had a temple of God with idols? For ye are a temple of the living God, as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separated, saith the Lord. And touch not, touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you. And you shall be sons and daughters unto me. Thus saith the Lord. Therefore, saith the Lord, come out from among them and be ye separated. Be ye separated. Yesterday we spoke about coming out of the burden of flesh. Today we are diverting it a little bit. And we are stepping out of the world, the burden of the world. Stepping out of the burden of the world. The word of God says that we shouldn't love the world, not the things of this world. The word of God said that we should have nothing in common with this world and their practices. Why? Because there is nothing in common in between us. We share no Nothing in common. We have nothing in common and we have no common interest. We have no common interest with this world. So any person that tells you that a born again believer can live anyhow is a liar. We are living and acting too much like the world. To the point that the world likes us. Why the world see himself like one of us. The world can't see the differences between him and the church any longer. So therefore, whenever you meet any person and you ask him, are you a Christian? He says, yes, I am a Christian. And sometimes I ask them, do you understand what Christianity means? When we say Christianity, do you really have a clue what Christianity is about? In this verse, wherefore come, out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. Stepping out from the burden of the world, stepping out of the load of this world. Ladies and Christ, uh, gentlemen, as Christians, the Lord has told us, according to his holy words and holy word, according to his holy laws, that should reflect on our life. That should point us into the nature of God. We are to separate ourselves from the actions and the influence. From the practices and behavior. From the attitude and the services of the world to the devil. And we should render all our services to the Lord our God and King. Therefore, Apostle Paul warned us. Don't be equally yoked. Don't be equally yoked. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand that a Christian life is different from the world? 
It sounds very simple. But it is so. As it was in the Old Testament, so it is in our day. Nothing has changed. The God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. The God that divided the earth into two. And people were swallowed up in the same God. We are to separate ourselves from the world. What does it mean? Meaning that the day we become saved. We are saved from the world. Their practices and their desire. We change our friends. We change our dresses. We change our churches. We change our area of comfortability. Places that we used to go. Sometimes we change our food. We change our eating habit. We change our sleeping habit. Everything is changed. You are a new creature. The old things are gone. The new things has begun. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to abandon sinners and their practices when we become Christians. There must be a demarcation line between us and the world. There must be something that separates us. Our conversation should be different. The way we talk, our language changes. We can't say certain words. We can't use certain words. I've said it here and I'll say it again. When I was a little child, we go to church and they teach us how to speak clean words. So the private parts, sensitive parts, the people use it in the sarcastic way. The, 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 the refuse or thing that we throw out of our body, we need to use neat words. To make it look appear neat. That is the Christian language. It's a very polite way of living. It's a life that you don't cross over people's privacy. It's a life that you respect others and demand respect from others. It's a life that you command holiness, righteousness in your environment. It's a life that you command peace because that is who you have become. Ladies and gentlemen, we are to separate ourselves from them before we can bring them to the level where we have come. But again, Baba, if we separate ourselves from them, how can we be among them? You must separate yourself. You must separate yourself from this world. Why? We are to steer clear of anything that goes against biblical standard that we have Accepted. Christianity is a culture. Christianity is a culture. And the culture began the beginning of the creation. Jesus Christ came in 2000 years ago to establish that culture for us. So ladies and gentlemen, Christian culture is different from the worldly culture. Christian culture is different from worldly culture. We are not to look like the world. We are not to take their habits. We are not to speak their language. We are not to take their looks. We might be different from them in any area. We are not to hang out or hang around them. Why? Because we are whom we hang around with. When we hang around sick people, we contact their sickness. If those people have flu, we get it. If those people are depressed, we get it. If those people are crazy people, we get it. If those people are speaking a different language, we copy their language. This morning, somewhere, I think last night, it was about 11 o'clock. I made a mistake picking a shift. Now this person that I was dealing with, it's an elderly person who is totally confused. A giant who wants to walk away. So I need to keep him in a place where he will not disturb other people at the hospital. I have my book lined down what I'm reading. I was talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. I saw him picking the book. I thought that he was going to read it. He was fascinated by the, by the title. Of a sudden, all that I heard is, wow! 
The volume of the book was like this. And the man hit me here well. With all the strength. Guess what? People's behavior activates your behavior. Of a sudden, all that I could do was push him away from me. So I push him away. As soft that I say it, it wasn't as soft as. So I need to hold him. I say, why do you want to hurt me? Why do you want to do this thing? So I left him. People's behavior will activate your behavior. I have to be very careful because this is an elderly person. I have to be very careful. And as I hold him on bed, the Lord said, be careful. Number one, you can lose your salvation. Number two, you can go to prison if you hurt him. He is intent to hurt you. Give him the other side. So I left him and I gave him the other side. We were talking throughout the night. Everything was fine. I went for a break and I came back. And the lady that took over got water bath, shower, wanted to drink. So the man showered the lady. The water that she gave him, he just poured it on him, on her. So the lady needed to go and change her dress. She was very kind, was still holding on to this man until I returned. <laughs> Everything was fine. We were talking and talking and talking. When you hang around them, you become like them. I'm telling you. Because they have the kind of attitude. They are sick. They can make you sick. So he wanted to move out of his area. I said, no, you're not moving out. I sat there. And gently, he was so resistant. So I stood up. And I was occupying his space. Of a sudden, all I had was on my jaw here. Big one. Pow! <laughs> Pow! For that one, I lost it. I said, no, I can't take this one. So I pushed him away again. <laughs> I push him and I press him down a bit. <laughs> I press him down a bit to let him feel a little bit of pains that he is pushing on me. I say, you can't do this. After all, I need to give him. He said he want tea. I need to offer him tea. He said that he want this. I need to offer him. Why? I need to leave a different mark of identity on him. Any little thing that I would do excessively will cost my salvation. And I want to even ask God to forgive me for even pushing him out of my way if I did it in the wrong way. Beloved, we can't hang around and we don't behave like them. He slapped, he kicked me, he hit me. In fact, for some about hours, my ears was paining me. So this job is no good. God, why do you allow me to come and do this job? Why don't you allow me to preach and people will bring me money. <laughs> he said, no, nah, you need to preach and give people money. When we hang around crazy, people will act crazy. Step out of this world. You might not think that your influence is getting out of your way. You might not know that you are dressing like the way they dress. You might not know that you are speaking their language. You might not know that you consider yourself like one of them because they consider those lifestyles as normal. He's living in a world that everything is normal. I asked him, he said, I made a mistake. I made two mistakes. He told me he made two mistakes, but he couldn't tell me exactly that mistake that he did. He might be aware of certain level of expressing his anger. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that this world is calling abusive normal? Do you know that this world called sin as something great? I want you to understand. I want you to understand. We can't go to church and behave like wicked people. We can't go to church and behave like the world. Whatsoever the world called as normal to us is abnormal. Therefore, he said, come out. Don't be equally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship, kononia, what communion, heart, Righteousness with unrighteousness. You call yourself a Christian. But there is no difference between you and the, and the world. There's one thing that breaks my heart. There's one thing. Sunday morning, you see most people who are Christians. Sunday morning, they dress. They dress. Dress their children. Sunday morning, they are Christians. But we need people who are not Christian only on Sunday and Saturdays. 
Saturday SDAs are Christians. The other, other day they are not. Sunday is Pentecost children, Pentecost girls, they are Christians. But Saturday night they weren't. They were in disco. They were in club. We they dress like the world. They talk like the world. They behave like the world. They go where the world go. And they do where what the world are doing. And when we call our friends to come to church, they don't see any differences between us and them. Islams, Muslims see themselves that they are doing well than Christians. That's why they don't want to change Christianity. They dress better than us. They behave better than us. They are very kind, better than us. They pray in a normal procedure better than us. You have you seen any Muslim brother praying at Malaki Ali Allah? Have you seen him walking around? They kneel down and they talk to God. They kneel down and talk to their God, not our God, basically. He talk to demons and witches and wizards. We have the method. We have the ways. We have the truths, but we don't apply them. Jehovah Witness are applying some of our method. They go from city to city to cause people to backslide and turn away from the ways of God into hell. Let us separate ourselves from the tracks of the devil. We need to live according to the word of God, not according to the world. We are not to allow the world to determine how we should live. We are not to allow the world to determine what we should say. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to come to the place where we need to allow the Holy Scripture to guide our ways, not the world. We need to allow the counsel of God to govern our choices. We need to allow the counsel of God to be the curriculum of our school. We need to come to the level. Where the Holy Scripture will determine. Our judicial. Uh, 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 system. system. We need to allow God. To rule. Our kingship. Our precedence. And every area. Of our custom and our culture. Now, when we hear that American were saying that we can't pray at school, they were a little bit offended. When American heard of the gospel, Christianity, Bible has been taken out of their schools, they were moaning. Bible has been taken from the public places. Before Bible was taken from the public place, it had already been taken out of their hearts. It has already been taken out of the hearts of men. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are to display the nature of God everywhere. Don't be equally yoked with them. Deuteronomy the chapter number 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Turn with me and let's read the word of God. There must be a big gap between Christianity and the world. There must be a big difference between us and the world. We have so many people who have crept into Christianity doing what Christ did not do. We have a new movement called prophetic movement. Has nothing to do with Christianity. Nothing that they are doing is from the world of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. The Old Testament prophets were not focusing on miracles. The only prophet that did miracle were Elijah and Elisha. There were much people that we can talk about miracles in their ministry. And in those ministry miracles, they walk into the people and they know the people coming to them. To the extent that when a man gather all the money of this world, Wanted to give to the prophet of God. He said no. No. 
The prophet of God rejected everything of this world. They rejected things. Any time the world wanted to bless them, they said, no, I don't need anything from you. My God is able to make me rich. My God is able to provide for me. They never charged people for consultation fee. They never sold anything. They never sold anything. They give them the free will of giving to God from the depths of their heart. Let us be separated from these churches. You may call it a church, but it is a world. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Let's read the verses number 3 to 9. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you. We've been praying, 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 praying. We think that God answered prayer. No! God doesn't answer prayer. God reward obedience. God reward faithfulness. God honor people that uphold holiness and righteousness. It is an honor. He doesn't answer prayer. He honor the faithful, sincere the obedience. Listen to what Moses told the children of Israel. This is what the Lord God of Israel said. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you. He didn't say, and you pray so that it will be well with you. He didn't say that you will fast. We are doing all these things. We are doing all this because we have avoided the other part of it. Listen and obey so that it may be well with thee. And ye may increase mightily. Increment is prosperity. So that you will prosper mightily. So that you will be blessed. Blessing doesn't come for prayer. It doesn't come for prayer. I was talking to Sister Norman earlier on. She was asking me, do we need to pray for the fruit of the Spirit? The sister was asking me, when God gives us something, does he take it back? What is the answer? Sister, I don't want you to answer. I want some of the sisters to answer me. Does God take back things that he has given to us? Yes or no? Mm. No. Who has different view? No. 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 God hasn't take back what he has given to us. Mm. And that is wrong. When you become disobedient, he takes it away from you. Everything that God gives us comes through the obedience of the Holy Spirit. The day that Adam and Eve sinned, what did God do? The Holy Spirit left them. The source of our joy, the source of our peace is the presence of the Holy Spirit in us. He is the initial blessing. Every gift that we possess comes from the Holy Spirit. Every talent and every ability, if it is not operating through the Holy Spirit, it is defiled. God doesn't accept us in any way apart from through the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit can be taken away from us, then every preacher that tells you, every gift that God gives you, he doesn't take it away, he's a liar. Test it away. Prove me wrong. When the Holy Spirit leaves you, everything that you are doing is foolishness. Everything that you are doing is deception, deceiving people to hell, and you yourself going to hell. Do you know that the Holy Spirit can leave you? The Holy Spirit can leave us. So don't let her buy into those demonic teachings that all God gives you are given. He doesn't take it away. He takes it away. It is the Holy Spirit that gives life to everything that God has given to us. And answers to the Holy Spirit, everything is dry. Doesn't make sense. And that is why they say the enemy is employing people. And what's all about God gives? God must give a talent. But when we give our body to Satan, Satan will come and take over. Sometimes there are certain Christians we sin, we don't know the reason why we are sinning. Because of the people that they preach to us, they are living in sin. Yeah, ways are not pure ways. Go to God and let God talk to you. And when God tells you, step out of this area, step out of this area because he knows better than you. There are some of these ministers, they are self 
fornicating. Some of these ministers, they are masturbating. Some of these preachers, including holiness preachers, masturbating and fornicating. People are sharing their dreams and their vision. Some are living in the secret sin on our world. They live in secret sin. It takes the grace of God to deliver a man. Satan will deceive you. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not live a life that will offend our God. Don't let us live a life that will offend God. Because when the Holy Spirit is taken out of our life, and that is why King David said, cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Because he knew when the Holy Spirit is taken off from him, he's dead. Are you a man, a pastor who have the Holy Spirit? Are you following a pastor who is having the Holy Spirit leadership in his life? Then be careful. Be careful. There are some pastors they can't mention him in the name of Jesus. They are making the name of the Lord to be in vain. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to stand up. We need to rise up in the natural. Step out from the burden of the world. Step out. Step out, step out, step out. Step out. Because we can't stand with them. We can't stand among them. Because they are smelling and stinking. We can't be around them. And please God. Hear all that for Isaiah Deuteronomy chapter 6. And observe to do it that it may be well with you. And that it may increase mightly. As the Lord God thy father has promised thee in the land that flow with milk and honey. He was talking about the promised land to Israel. Canaan. Which stand for heaven. Hear the counsel of God. Step out of this world. Don't be like them. Hear, O Israel, verse 4, the Lord our God is the Lord. Is one. Is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee, this day shall be in thy heart. Let the master that you are hearing, let it rule your heart. Let it rule your heart. I know there are some people who might be listening to me, might be listening to me for some time now, but they are still, they've not decided yet. It's not everyone here who decides if yet. Some have not decided yet. Some are still struggling. We have allowed the world, we have allowed the world to determine the outcome of our feelings. We have allowed the world to detect our belief system. We have the, allowed the world to govern everything that brings us joy and peace. And to the degree that we have accepted, accepted the ways of this world is the degree that we have become. We have become so desensitized to the things of God that our people in the church, when preaching holiness to them, it is very, very, very bitter. People become offended preaching the truth to them. Do you know that the Lord Jesus Christ took one of our sister? Ah, uh, is it in Accra Church? And the Lord showed her Christian sisters shouldn't use the thread to play their her. And also, one sister, the Lord showed her that no Christian sister should wear kaba. Kaba is Ghanaian style for women, where their back here is open. Open back, open top, either front or back, a born again believer. You should not wear any dress. The children of Israel, the daughters of Israel were not wearing those dress. Some of us, we are preaching holiness, but we are firm evil. So sometimes, God said, don't listen to them. They are not mine. Those of you, I know that sometimes I said, I go and listen to this man. I am wrong. I'm not going to say those things again. I'm wrong. I do apologize for that. For that much, some of our sisters have gone to listen to some of these brothers that I've told you to go and listen to them and the Lord told them, don't listen to them. I agree with God. We see in bed. I'm the type of a person, I don't want to restrict people. I want people to be of themselves. But please God. Please God. Please God. 
That might be one of my weaknesses. I want you to be yourself and serve God. I don't want to tell you, do this, do this, do this. That is not me. I don't even restrict my children of their movement. Because in the absence of freedom of choices, our choices are not genuine. So sometimes you give people the open door that when they go and learn, they know I have something better than this. Let me stick to this. They will come back and they stay secured. Some of these sisters left. They came back and they said there is nowhere to go. You are the last stop. I will listen to you every day unless until the Lord tells me not to listen to you again. Beloved, let us be very, very careful because we have Christians, teachers, and pastors on Facebook. What they are preaching might look like godly. Yet the Lord will tell you, don't listen to them. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God. Don't challenge God. Why? Because we have allowed the world to detect some of our teachings. Most of the preaching that is going on is the world. The people around us that stare us up to teach it. We don't listen to God's voice. I struggle to teach, to be honest with you. I struggle to teach every day. It's a burden. Lord, what do you want your children to hear? Sometimes what I need to teach is only when I sit here, then I know. Why? Because my life is programmed by God. Sometimes he will not talk to you until I've gone back to sleep. Now, as I'm about to wake up, then he gave me the message to talk about stepping out of the burden of this world. He said, Son in our flesh. He said, Son in our flesh. We can't afford, we can't afford to chase after what they are chasing after. We can't afford to compete with them. We can't afford to walk like them and talk like them. We can't afford to behave like them. Why? Because the Lord God who have called us is a holy God. And he detests anything that is evil. He detests anything that is evil. And therefore he doesn't want his children. He doesn't want his children to mingle with anything that is of this world. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. It's only in the sight of God that you know what is right or wrong. In this world everything goes. If you are still following the worldly system, I'm telling you, every preacher is a Christian. Every person on Facebook is preaching and is a Christian. But in the sight of God, God knows those who are his. God knows those who are his. People are giving revelation, but God knows those who are his. Every success and every achievement, every respect that we can earn in this world, must come from the Lord. And now today there are some Christians who are expecting the word to bless them. If the word blesses you, I'm telling you, he will detect for you. And that is where we are. Mm -hmm. They will detect for you. If the word says we should go out and drink, we should go and socialize ourselves and have a treatment to ourselves. If the word says that we should do business with them, if we expect from the world, then the world will detect for us. He who that calls for the piper calls for the tune. I want you to understand this world is running after, after, after fame. This world is running after how many people that listen to you. This world are interested about your followers. They are not interested about how God is affecting people's life. <coughs> This world is interested about a group of people where everybody will see that this is a church. But they are not interested in where Christ is speaking to his people. Don't be deceived. There is difference between us and the world. We can have everything that they are offering us. But what they are offering us will not give us eternal salvation. What they are offering us cannot give us eternal salvation. So Apostle Paul said, I don't live according to the world. Don't live according to the world. Don't live according to the world. <coughs> don't live by their dictates. <laughs> don't live by their proposal. Don't live by what they offer us. Beloved, 
When we look to the world, we follow the ways of the world. When we look to the world, we compete with the world. When we look to the world, we become like the world. But the Lord our Savior wants us to avoid association with the world. Love not the world, nor the things of this world. Avoid it. Avoid it. Why? Because they hinder your spiritual life. The world hinder your spiritual growth. The world stand in the way of everything that God wants to do for you. Many of us, we backslided when we were little children because we became friends to people that claimed to be godly, but they weren't. They looked pious. They were playing Christian gospels. Some of them, some of these guys joined us on, 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 on a scripture union. They have joined the church. The world have joined the church. If the world want to bring a Christian down, he will come to a home of a Christian. He will come to the resting place of a Christian. And therefore, avoid them. Avoid them. Avoid them. Apostle Paul said that we are not to be equally yoked with them. We are not to have fellowship, association with them. We are not to love what they love. We are not to enjoy what they are enjoying. We are not to celebrate their celebration. We are not to mourn the way they mourn. We need to do our thing different from how they do their things. We cannot be politicians. We cannot. We cannot. We can call ourselves Christians and yet behave like the world. There is a big difference between us. There is a big difference. Therefore, avoid every situation that you are unsure. If you are not sure that this is a believer, don't associate yourself with them. There are some sin that seems not to be sin. But Bible have declared it and it's supposed to be. Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 14 verse 23. That anything which is not born out of faith is sin. Anything that we don't do it. By faith in the Lord Jesus Christ we sin. We might do the right thing but it could be wrong. We might be the right place according to our side but it could be wrong. Therefore let us be very very careful. Therefore, therefore let us be very very careful. And know what is good and evil only in the sight of God. When we know what is right and we do it, blessed are we. But if, if we refuse to separate ourselves from the world, if we refuse to separate ourselves from the world, we become like them. We need to hate what they love. We need to reject what they have in store for us. We need to walk away what they intended to arrest our soul. And look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord God loves us. Jesus loves us. And that is why he is calling us to separate ourselves. The Lord loves us. That's why he is calling us to separate ourselves. That we shouldn't have anything in common with the world. We shouldn't love the world nor the things of this world. Why? Because the things of this world place enmity between us and God. We need to see God in our heart. We need to praise God in our heart. We need to observe the truth. And we need to entreat God's favor. We must keep his commandment. And we must obey his counseling. If we want to achieve success. Who is a man that wants to be accepted into the kingdom of God? Is a man that separates himself from the world and their sister. Is a man that doesn't follow politics. There are some Christians, when you see them, born again believers, they are politicians. You can't have the two. The system of this world, the system of this world is against us. And therefore, therefore, let us walk away and not be equally yoked with them. Let us walk away. And not be part of whatsoever they are enjoying. The Lord is calling out this afternoon. For you and me to separate ourselves from the world. 
What communion had the word with us? What fellowship had the word with us? There should be a pattern of Christian life. There should be a pattern. What concord had Christ with Balaam? What agreement had the temple of God with idols? When the Bible talks about idol, any craving image, anything that we bow before can be a picture. Christians, we are not to bow before the picture of Jesus Christ. We are not to bow before because demon can come and dwell in it on our world. Since we are not sure of the right one, since we are not sure the right one, unless the Lord has revealed it to you. I think this uh, last three days I posted one that a young girl drew. Which a young girl at a tender age, she started drawing the Lord. And uh, that was a picture that was given to her. I believe that that picture is real. I believe that picture is clear. Then Sister Ifia was showing me some kind of pictures that some Africans believe that is Jesus Christ. We serve God by faith. You don't serve him by sight. Although our faith will open our eyes to see things the way God wants us to see. I want to finish it with titles, the chapter, or the other, other something that I need to clear up. But let's go to titles, the cha titles chapter number two. I want to finish with that. Beloved, the time is fast spent. So this is just a reminder. That those of us who want to make heaven, we need to separate ourselves from this world. We need to separate ourselves from some of these churches that we call Christianity. It's not a church. It's not a church. So if God is warning you to step out of a place of your comfort, do so. Do so. Apostle Paul said, in Titus chapter number 2, Titus chapter 2, we want to read the verse number 4. They that may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husband, to love their children. Talking about elderly women. Elderly women need to live a sober life that they will teach the young women to live with their husbands. If you have a mother who is promoting uh, what we call it, divorce is she's not a christian any christian that back a divorce of little children is not a good christian he said that those elderly women need to be discreet need to chase keepers at home good obedient to their own husband they need to teach their daughters that the word of god be not be blasphemed. That the word that I was looking for, that we need to live a life that will not blasphemed the word of God. Child of God, your behavior and your attitude, holiness is still required. The Lord God is still requiring holiness from us. We're going to talk about much tomorrow, God's willing. But because of time, I'm not going to spend much time. Today, let me read a few verses. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. Young men, you youth, be sober-minded. Now you see a Christian brother having all kind of hair shape, haircuts, different style on his face, saga his trousers. Live as a street boy. Some of them will leave rasta locks on their head. This is not a Christian life. Let us set an exemplary life. All of you children who want to live a life for your own, you don't want to be under your father's instructions, you are heading towards hellfire. We need to restrict our children and teach them the ways of God. We need to restrict our children and show them the way to live for God. Parents, it is our responsibility. Oh, he's a child, when he grow, he will stop. You're a bad father. You're a bad parent. Teach the child the way that he should go. So when they grow, they will not depart from it. Ladies and gentlemen, let us conform into the will of God. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded, not the desire to make rich, desire to be made known. There are so many young brothers, so many young brothers on Facebook today, when I see them, I pity them. 
There's a young boy, a young Nigerian boy, who was a prophet, and sometimes he sits in the car, and I'm going to prophesy, show bad about that, and people are listening, people are watching, no word of God, no counsel of God, oh my God. Where are we? He know nothing, he doesn't even have Bible verse. He doesn't have a Bible verse. And people are watching. Today I'm going to prophesy. There is nowhere in the Bible. There is nowhere in the Bible. Every prophecy that we needed was written down for us. No, none of the apostles just went. In the New Testament, we never had any prophecy. Apart from what was given to Apostle Paul. No prophecy. Apart from what was given to John the Revelator. Every prophecy was recorded for us. Let us be very careful. Young, more, young boys, be sober and see the face of God. And stop watching porn. Stop watching porn. This gentleman yesterday on WhatsApp was crying. I need somebody to help me. And nobody was responding. I took his number and I called. I, I, I tested and I said, boy, what is your problem? And it's the same young people problem. The same young people problem. Pastor, I watch porn. I watch porn. I watch porn. And after porn, I need to do what I'm supposed to do. I said, the Lord wants to save you. Young children, <laughs> why have you allowed pornography to drag you to hell? You must be sober. Sober means delight yourself in the word. Of, and this boy that goes to church, that's painful. And I asked him, have you asked your pa told your pastor? He said, no, pastor, I'm ashamed. I am ashamed to talk to and I have these young people confounded in me. Come. I won't mention your name, but I'm warning the brothers. Warning the young brothers who are following these things. If you have that problem, come. And I will pray with you. I will pray with you. I will fast with you. I'll put you on three days fasting. For you to go through severe pains in your belly. Three days dry fast. That is how it will make the work be done. <laughs> ah, three days is short, Amma. Obinim puts about 50 kilos of a cement on a woman that he gave a lotto number to somebody. And that woman didn't uh, go uh, 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 and take that lotto. So Obinim had to put cement back on an elderly woman about two miles so that that woman would learn sense. So when <laughs> prophet, when a prophet gave you, Jenny, it's sad. And this woman was walking because Obinim gave her a lotto number. Prophet of God. The demonic, above all demonic, him and his wife. Let us stay away from all these men. Because they promote evil. When we watch them, when we listen to their songs, when we listen to Obinim's wife's song, you masturbate. I'm telling you. When you do because of the way that this year, ladies, the way they dress. These girls today, the women in your country, the way they dress and they sing. Those of you who are watching Pastor Christ and all his members who are singing, stop listening to their songs. Any man of God who is not standing for God, anything that comes out of him is not from God. I don't care what you say, but I'm warning the Christian. Stop listening to their songs. Stop it. Stop it. It is not producing God. That is why sometimes when you go to them, God says, don't listen to them because they are not of me. They accept what I hate. I don't play anyone's songs. I play my own songs, which has not been recorded. I sing my own song. I don't know the ingredients and the person that gave that song. So be very careful, young brothers and sisters. Christian brothers who are following what this boy, what is his name? Sonny Badu, please stop listening to his songs. Stop it. It's hard. My spirit grieved whenever we are doing worship and somebody reads a song of Sonny Bedou. My spirit grieves. I know that that man is not standing for God. Any person who is not standing for God, when you practice listening to his song, these are the reason why these boys, they are falling as victims. Because these singers, do you know where they go? After they written their song, do you know the incantation? Separate yourself. You may call it Christian gospel, but this is not Christian gospel. Pastor, what song should we sing? Go and sing your Presbyterian hymn books and your Matthew hymn books. Sing your hymns. Blessed assurance. You know. 
that everything is deposited in the word of God. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that is of the counterpart, may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. We need to give you sound doctrines that will bring you into the glory of God. It is my heart cry. It is my heart cry. Darling, make their communion ready. We are going to go straight to the communion. Beloved, let us walk away. We don't have many men that are bold enough to call the spade a spade. I have crossed the line of shame. I have crossed the line of rejection. I have been rejected in many years, so, that, so I don't see people reject me any longer. But I need to speak the truth and warn people. Because some of you, you may not see these things. How can a born again believer pray in tongues? You go and masturbate because of these songs. The source of those songs are not clear. You pray every day. You think that God did light in those songs. Even if you are singing a song, make a melody and create your own words out of it. Create your own word. Beloved Christianity have turned into different things. Exalts, exalts servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again. Here, Apostle Paul, look and see the Bible was endorsing slave trade. Because if somebody is a servant, then somebody needs to come under. Those of you who have servants around you, don't consider them as servants. Consider them as brothers. Treat them as you are treating your own children. Those of you who have housemaid, any genuine Christian, you don't call the person your assistant as a housemaid or houseboy. Don't devalue any person. Give those people the opportunity to become greater. If they have not been educated, bring them home as they are assisting you in your home. Whereas, educate them. Give them something that they will not continually to be where you are. Where they are. Right, raise them from that place of disgrace. That their children, children will not follow the same thing. Cut off. Any person that comes into your life, cut off slavery out of his generation. Some of you call yourself Christians. Some of you call yourself Christians. And you put a heavy load on little girls. I had this young girl who was so possessed. She could have destroyed this woman. But she, her heart was kind. The husband was so pushing to sleep with this girl. This girl was beaten by this woman in Nigeria. Young girl. The girl had to run away. She was asking, why am I suffering like this? Where is my dad and where is my mom? The day she realized that her real dad is dead and her real mom was dead. That she was living with uncle who has apparently become a father. Who was a bishop and treating her as a mad. She cried. I still have contact with this young girl. Every now and then when she comes, she cries. Going through so many things because nobody to take care of her. We tried to help. But she was not helping herself. Therefore, every help that we gave, Satan took it away. That is another area. I am appealing to you as I bring my teachings to an end. Let us do well and to assist those people that need help. Christianity is a trade. Christianity is a journey that involves a lot. We can't behave like the world. We can't treat people like the world. We can't talk to people like the world. We can't deal with people like the world. Let us be very sensitive. Any person that comes into our life, let's tell truth. Speak truth. One thing that we need to do, speak truth. Be faithful in all you're doing. And know that you are accountable of all your choices. Because when you stand before God, you're going to face the judgment of God yourself. Let men do what they want to do. But stand for God. Speak the truth. Stay pure. And stay home. Amen. 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 Bow down your heads and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this great honor and opportunity given to us to study your word. To step out of the world of burden. That everything that the world has for us enslave us. It is our spiritual quality from us. 
Lead us into your truth. I'm going to bring your children closer to you, O God. Is there any person suffering from one way or the other? Going through any action that needs repentance. I pray the Lord save their soul. Change them in Jesus' name. Maybe you are listening to me. You are going through certain things that I have mentioned. Modern slave trade. Both physical and spiritual slave trade. Some of the slave, some of the slave is because of your own ignorance. Because of your own laziness. You don't want to do hard job. So you need to be a liberal. You don't want to do things that will end you. Therefore, you need to beg every day. You are watching pornography, therefore sexual sin. You don't want to marry, therefore you are burning with a passion of evil. I pray that may my God save you. Pray with me and ask him to deliver your soul. And if you need extra prayer, I'll be very happy to assist you. Contact me and I will be there and pray with you. But before that, let's pray this prayer. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from all my ways. Cleanse me from all my ways. I repent from my sinful deeds. I repent from my sinful deeds. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. I love you. I love you. I want to be separated from this world. I want to be separated from this world. And live for you. And live for you. My heart desires to know you more. My heart desires to know you more. And live with you eternally. And live with you eternally. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. For your heart. For your heart. I give you my mind. I give you my mind. For your mind. For your mind. Please let me love what you love. Please let me love what you love. Hate what you hate. And hate what you hate. Grant me your Holy Spirit. Grant me your Holy Spirit. Restore every gift. Restore every gift. Every talent. Every talent. That have let go. That have let go. Grant me the strength to live for you again. Grant me the strength to live for you again. I love you because you love me. I love you because you love me. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to assure you that the Lord my God have answered that prayer. I recommend that you continue to listen to these teachings and your life will never be the same again. Join me on Facebook 24-7. Join me on YouTube. My name is Pastor Gabriel Adadi. On Facebook, Gabriel or Love Adadi. Join us friend request if you're not a friend. Those of you on WhatsApp, please, if you want more, contact me and let us pray. I'll be very, very happy to assist you because that's one area of my ministry. To help brothers, young people to come out of masturbation. And many people have been delivered through this ministry. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. I want also to let you know that one of our sisters, there was this young lady that contacted me from South Africa. Her daughter was admitted to hospital. That girl had become crippled. That girl was not eating. She had depression all over. And uh, I prayed. You also prayed. And I think yesterday the sister sent me a message that the first time the girl is on her feet, she is eating and she is drinking. So we give glory to the Lord. Amen. So she was thanking all the group that we stood with her in time of that trouble. Amen. The the night that the Lord Jesus Christ died, the night that Jesus Christ died, the Bible said that he gathered himself with the disciples. And after he had taught them his ways, he took a towel and a basin, a bucket of water, started washing the disciples' feet. Started washing their feet. Washing of feet is washing of your mind. And that is why we have done the word of God. Have washed your feet now. After he has washed their feet, he took bread and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take it and eat. For this is my flesh, which is being broken for you and many for your well-being, for your healing, for your strength in the Lord. It is only the Lord that can break the bread. He crucify his body for us. But you and me, we dare not to continue to crucify the body. So long as we live in sin, so long as we live the way we want my WhatsApp number is 0 0 uk 7804282333. In the night, he brought a bread and gave it to the disciples, and they ate it. After that, he took a cup, he blessed it, and said, take it and drink. It was a wine. 
non-alcoholic wine. There was no alcohol in them. He gave it to them and said, drink it. For this is my blood, which is given unto you as a remission of your sin, so that you will live for me. We have the communion now. We want to have a communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's pray together. Say, Jesus, Jesus, this is your body. This is your body. As I eat your body. As I eat your body. May I feed on you. May I feed on you. May I not have any desire. May I not have any desire. In anything. In anything. Apart from you. Apart from you. I have your blood. I have your blood. That wash away my sins. That wash away my sins. That break any addiction. That break any addiction. And separates me from the world. And separates me from the world. As I drink the blood. As I drink the blood. Let your glory be seen. Let your glory be seen. As I eat your flesh. As I eat your flesh. May I experience your presence. May I experience your presence. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Every sickness. Every sickness. You are living today. You are living today. Every addiction. Every addiction. You are breaking today. You are breaking today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I claim my healing. I claim my healing. I claim my strength. I claim my strength. I claim my restoration. I claim my restoration. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we take it? All right, let's drink the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus, it was she, what a snow. Thank you for the blood, thank you for the blood. Oh, this is the most important part of my ministry. For the blood, cry unto the blood. I appoints you to the blood. Thank you for the blood of oh, Jesus. The blood that has saved me is the same blood that can save you. The blood that has washed me is the same blood that can wash you. The blood that has delivered me is the same blood that is working for all of us. Thank you for the blood of oh, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Oh, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Raise up your hands and cry to, for the blood. Every area that you need help, talk to the blood. Talk to the blood. Talk to the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood is still working. The blood is still changing life. The blood is still saving souls. The blood is still delivering. The blood is separating us from the world. The blood, the blood. Cling to the blood is at you. Say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free. Break every bondage. Break every yoke. Break every resistance in my life. The blood, the blood of Jesus. She turned it about Santa. Cry, cry to the blood. Cry to the blood to separate you from anything. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, have your way, O God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Beloved, today is exceptional day. One of our sisters have lost her mom. That me and love, we need to go to uh, Nottingham. It's about 45 minute drive. Right now, they are having the uh, Thanksgiving service. So they've invited us to come over. That's why it seems I'm rushing today. So, uh, is there any testimonies? We're going to close 2 o'clock today. Uh, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock on your side. We could use only 2 hours. It is possible. Is there any testimony that somebody want to share? Any testimony? Yes. I have a question. Go ahead, my dear. Please, the communion that we take, I want to know, the, the, the men, are these different from ours? I mean, the size of the bread and the drink. <laughs> oh, Jenny. <laughs> ah, Jenny. <laughs> You've never seen my wife uh, mm. wine before, yeah? She... I just I just saw her bread and her hands was little and yours was big. So oh. maybe you did it. <laughs> yes, because I'm a pastor, I need to be, eat a big one. Men we eat bigger things. <laughs> so she divided it, she made a mistake and gave me the bigger one. <laughs> she loves me so much, she always wants me to get the best. But normally Mm. In Jesus' time, we have the bread big like that, so we pass it on to people, so anyone would take as much as he wants. But some Paul saw that it was not well divided, because people were hungry, they take half of it, and they, and they pass on the rest. That was how it was supposed to be done. So Paul spoke against it that we shouldn't do it this way. Just take a letter, just a token. Yeah, so um, it depends upon if you can eat a big amount like this before we finish the sun that everybody need to chew his and then we it depends upon your jaw if you can chew faster that's, that's not a problem at all amen <laughs> Esther your house is up my dear yes pastor please I have a testimony Go to the glory of God I don't know if it's an encouragement so amen I bless the Lord so much. I'm so, so happy. Uh, the last time that you made us aware that Sister Blessing, Sister Blessing Joy, she has delivered. In fact, I was so happy. You heard me shouted a big amen, and I, I knew the reason why. You know the reason why. Yes, yes please. Amen. Sister Blessing, um, this sister has been a blessing to my life. Amen. It just goes with her name. I love her so much. I amen. thank God for the life of Sister mm -hmm. Blessing. She was the one that brought me into this ministry. I met her in Vetus Men Ministry, and she made a live video. I, I, I think it was like a recording, a video, and she was talking about restitution. Mm. So I heard it, and it just penetrates to my heart. I said, no, I need to contact this sister. So I called her, and she gave me a guidelines and prayer topics with and quotation, Bible verses and all that, and during our conversation, she said, I even know a Ghanaian man whom I, I also fellowship with. He's on Zoom, so I can give you the the, 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 the the code so that you can join. Indeed, she gave it to me, and I'm so, so happy. And I want to encourage us. Sister Blessing became part of me. She would just call and check on me. So by God's grace, she took in a seed, uh. and she miscarried it. Mm. So... We were talking and we were encouraging one another, but this sister has a very strong faith. Mm. He said, the husband said to her, when you were you were in holiness, all this thing didn't happen to you. Why is it? Why is this thing happening to you? Then now that you have come to know holiness, because mm. you have three girls and nothing of this sort happened to you. And she said, she knew it's a plan of the enemy, but she will stand firm for mm. the Lord and this is what the Lord has done for our sisters. So I just want to encourage all of us that whatever that we are going through, and people might laugh at us because we have seen holiness, the things that were happening to us before, we didn't see things moving us as it were. It, were, it is all, they are all trials, and the Lord will see us too. So I thank the Lord so much for my sister. 
I thank, I thank the Lord for her life. Amen. Indeed, she has, it's like she has given me a gold. I've left her in better man. Here am I. Amen. And there are so many testimonies, but because of our time, I just thank God for the life of Sister Blessing Joy. Amen. I pray that the Lord will establish her in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Did, did, her, number, did, did her number go through? Um, I'm now coming to store it. Yesterday it was late, so I oh, couldn't yeah. call her. Okay. Yesterday. Try to call her and give her our congratulations. Yes, I, I need surely to call did her. that. I have to call mm -hmm. her. I have to call her because of time. I need to call her likewise. I wish I can call her before you do. <laughs> so you won't take the blessing from me. All right. It's the Bible <laughs> says that rejoice with those who are rejoicing. That is how Christianity is. You see, mm -hmm. Wherever you are, you need somebody to connect you. All of us here, somebody connected us. Whom are you connecting to heaven? Let your life become a ladder that somebody will climb to heaven. Is there any more testimonies? Is there any more testimonies? Thank God that I know much. But I want to end today's meeting by telling you, you are here for purpose. Share this message for somebody. Share it. Sister Mary heard it. She spoke to Sister Lydia. She spoke to Sister Teresa. She spoke to Sister Fosti. And goes on and on and on and on and on and on. One Sister Linda heard it. And I think she shared with other sisters. Jennifer, I don't know how she stumbled into me. And it has gone. Mama, uh, uh, Mama Vic came through, Sister Farida. So many. Everyone here is connected by God. It's connected by God. And Sister Teresa connected by America. Mm. So Sister Norman saw my ministry. I think she saw me on Facebook. She joined me. Sister Blessing saw my message. She be the eldest among all of us here. She's been with me for a longer time. She knows me better than all of you, and I know her better than. <laughs> we fought in many times. We disagree many times, but we are still one. Amen. We can't live without each other. <laughs> Pastors, those people that God, those people that God had brought them to us. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Those people that God has brought us, they have different culture, different character, different nature. So we need to have the heart of Christ to nature them. There are certain times, me and Sister Blessing were supposed to be broken. <laughs> she came back, said, I have no place to go. <laughs> That's how it is. Your pastor may offend you, but don't take it into heart. Those of you are running away. If you know that that man is a true man of God. Somebody like Sister Jennifer, I don't give her peace at all. Please, we might be harsh on you, but we have only one and only one reason for you to make heaven. Correct us when we make mistakes. Sister Blessing will rebuke me publicly. I take it as it is. I take it as a, my senior sister because she's elder than me. And if she has submitted herself under me, I take it as an honor. I need to humble. Mama Teresa is older than me. Uh, Mama Erica, I have these elderly sisters, Sister Vic, Mama Lucy. I said me, Mama Jennifer. I'm Mama, older than you. Mama Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer is my nephew, is my niece. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, I think I'm even older than you. <laughs> Jennifer is my niece. So I treat her like, like one of my little ones. If I don't, she'll be even powerful than even the elderly woman here. <laughs> So push it down. Glory be to God for what is you know in our lives. Please, we are here in fellowship. We share love. We share. We cry together. We weep together. And we rejoice together. I'm very glad that God has brought you, brother Alfred is tuning in from Ghana. Brother Alfred, God bless you, sir. Today you are lucky. We don't use luck. I'm sorry, sister. Blessing will rebuke me. We don't use luck. Whenever I say anything which is not spiritual, she is the one that will rebuke me. You can't say that. That's why I love her. There are people there in your life. They are not there to support anything that you do. They are there to see to you that you do the right thing. Exactly. And you need the right balance. Mm -hmm. I know my Ghanaian sister, they will pop out for me. Oh, he's a Ghanaian, so let us pamper him. No, she doesn't deal with me in that manner. <laughs> she, she's with me with the iron hands, and I love it. 
It has me to be there. Some of you, you are you you, you are afraid of people who have different. Pastor, Mama, uh, Sister, blessing. Oh no, 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 no. No, this is different blessing. I know, yeah. This blessing is grandma. Are you? <laughs> Mama, blessing is is she finished? No, 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 no. She nursing her grandchildren. <laughs> Just giving to you, you the, the young ones to continue. Oh, I've hung my boot too. I don't play ball again. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we thank God. In this ministry, I don't play ball again. See? God bless you. That's my mama, mama blessing. It's a grandma. Very young, but grandma. I don't play ball again. Amen. She doesn't Amen. play ball again. You understand her? No game. We thank God for how far he has brought us. Brother Daniel, please take the last five minutes and then lead us to pray and then close the meeting. I have another assignment, Brother Alfred. I have another assignment. I need to travel. The next five minutes, I need to leave home about half an hour to one, uh, to one hour journey. So we are closing very quick. Brother Daniel. Amen. 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 Um, we are going to pray and we are going to use this ministry as a point of contact. We are going to pray because we we need men of God who, who have the boldness to speak the truth. We are using this platform as a point of contact to revive other platform that may the Lord raise up man of his caliber to speak the truth, to reveal his secret unto his people in the name of Jesus, shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. Revive us to God. Raise men after your heart to God. Father, we cry that you raise men after your own heart. To God, we pray you raise men after your own hearts to God. Father, we pray you raise men after your own hearts to God. That will show us your ways. Those who love what you love and hate what you hate. Those who will teach us to follow your counsel. Those who will guide us into divine truth of God. That we will walk in your counsel. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We are still going to pray and we are going to remember our brethren. There are so many people who are hungry, who are searching. We are praying that may the Lord bring them, may the Lord, have, may the Lord lead them to, to this platform where they can be fed, where they can be have that holiness life, where they, their life can be changed. We pray anywhere they are, those who are searching, those who are crying, may the Lord answer them and bring them. Let them have contact with this platform in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, as men who are bound, as men who are going through pains and agony, my God. Father, we cry, we cry, we cry that you will draw them with God. You will draw them, you will draw them from the east, you will draw them from the north with God. And they will come and share fellowship with us with God. In the name of Jesus, you are God that changes life, you are God that changes life with God. Therefore, we know that you will change your life. Amen. 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 Who want us to pray and commit the week into the hands of the Lord? Mm. We are praying that may the Lord lead us and make every crooked way straight. We are praying for our brethren who will be going for interviews, who will be going for for um, for restitution. Let me put it that way. Anything that we are going to do this week, may the Lord lead us. 
under our our steps so that everything will be successful in the name of Jesus. Shall Father we pray? God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that we pray that it shall be a week of success, it shall be a week of joy, it shall be a week of grace, it shall be a week of harmony with God. Everywhere that your children are going to step their feet to God, we pray that your presence shall be upon them, we pray that your glory shall be seen in them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your glory be known, let your glory be known, let your glory be known in Jesus. Let your will be made known unto them, oh God. As they walk in your counsel, Father, open doors, grant them the favor, grant them the favor, grant them the favor, grant them the favor, oh God. Be the anchor, be the joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pastor, please a hand over to you. Shall we soak ourselves in the blood and seal the prayer and thank him for answering our prayer? Father, we soak ourselves in your blood. We thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you because your blood is still at work in us, O God. Therefore, we love you. Therefore, we love you. Therefore, we love you. Therefore, we love you. We worship you and say, glory, Father. We worship you and say, be exalted. We worship you and say, you are the mortal God, you are the possible God. We give you glory, God. We give you worship. Jesus, we give you one in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? And now, may the grace, now, the grace of our, our Lord and our Savior Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sea flesh, the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, Facebook family, those of you who watch us, God Richard bless you. I'm so glad. I'm so happy that the Lord is building us together. And tomorrow we shall meet in heaven and we shall rejoice. I'm not seeing it physically, Amen. but spiritually, I pray for you. I pray with you and I pray that the Lord will continue to engraft you in this divine holiness teaching. Trust in the Lord, never give up. When the going become tough, please never give up. Continue persistently. Hold on because God is faithful. To him be the glory, now and forever. Amen. Sister Lydia, love you. God bless you all. Amen.